Hi Leo, welcome to your June 2022 Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Leo, I'm doing a dual reading today, either side can resonate as you, the other side will be your person of interest. And it's a general reading so uh, feel free to swap out the energies. If you're cross-watching this could be, either side could be a Leo that you're dealing with so you get to decide who's who. So Leo, let's take a look. I've already been meditating on these cards. So just a few more shuffles here and let's get started Leo on your energy. For the month of June 2022, guys if you're interested in a personal reading I'm offering a summer special at the moment ways that you can find out more information you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store Gypsy Insights Tarot and purchase directly the link is in the box below if at any time during this reading you're enjoying it press that thumbs up button guys it'd be super important for my channel if you do that and of course if you're a newcomer at any time during the reading you would uh, you find that this is something that you're enjoying and getting something out of then please do subscribe i'd love to have you guys thanks of course as always to my regular viewers much appreciated so let's see your person of interest their energy towards you leo for the month of june either side can be you <coughs> okay Let's get their energy down, where they stand, where they hope to stand in the future, how they feel about you, Leo, what's hidden, the strengths, challenges, what's in their environment that's affecting this, uh, their advice for this person and the potential outcome. Okay, Leo, let's get, uh, let's get some oracles. We'll start with you. Let me uh, tap into the energy around you for the month of June. The energy around Leo, my lovely Leos. Leo for the month of June. Energy around Leo for the month of June, please, spirit. Okay, we've got to trust. It came out kind of in the middle. So there's an energy here of, <coughs> excuse me, not quite trusting a situation. Let me just take a quick drink, guys. Mm, my throat chakra started to close down there um, so yeah there's something you're not certain about Leo hmm you don't you're not quite sure okay there's some doubt here now the other person their energy towards you let's see what is Leo's person of interest their energy towards Leo in the month of June their energy okay this person feels uh, like they've uh, they've the winner i get that they have won okay all right hmm i'm getting several different messages around that let's get the connecting energy connecting energy here for the month of june for leo what connects these two what energy connects these two for the month of june okay happiness joy playfulness enjoying each other okay well that's lovely okay let's take a look here leo the seven of wands okay so i've got you uh, taking a trip um it may be a long distance or it could just be a short distance uh, going to meet this person and it feels like blind faith taking a risk you're taking a risk in going to meet this person because it's there's a lot of uncertainty here so it's a lot of blind trust okay let's look at them the ace of cups this is a, a healing energy a purity a receptivity I'm getting an energy around this person of, uh, yeah, I get 
I get a free flowing emotions free there's nothing here that feels forced or um, it or feels dammed up or feels restricted it feels like free flowing kind of energy okay um, like mastering the emotions mastering the flow of emotions we'll have to see where that goes we have the five of swords over here okay so you've got you're going to meet this person there's a bit of blind faith or trust uh, you, it's something that you're doing for yourself you feel like this is something that you're meant to do I get that yeah it's something that you're doing for your own self-interest I get that all right so you seem to be standing strong standing firm um, having trust that things will work out okay all right uh, trusting that things are going to work out in the future but not really certain that they will now Leo on this side we've got the knight of swords uh, this is a bit more of a confused kind of energy something that's confusing all right it's like ripples on the water uh, if you can imagine still water uh, or flow or even flowing water um, yeah let's just say it's flowing water and a lot of wind comes along like a windstorm or a tornado it, it creates a movement in the water or ripples so it can even like for in the case of a tornado it can suck up water right so it feels like something that is being stirred up over here uh, the emotions are being stirred up um, all right let's see on this side we've got the seven of swords in the reverse I feel like somebody's gonna have to come this an energy here of coming clean turning over a new leaf okay this feels like um new beginnings uh, somebody turning over a new leaf uh, okay On this side we've got the page of swords all right this is I feel like this person's somehow being triggered I I get that like they're uh, let, let's just see how calm you are really uh, was it you that did that Leo did you kind of stir this person up did you stir up their emotions did you try to get some kind of rise out of this person because I feel like uh, they're victorious here they're getting control of their emotions they're not reacting in a way that perhaps you thought that they would react uh, to some news that you've given them or some something here that uh, that's been found out okay yeah uh, like riling them up getting them stirred up maybe this trip that you've taken is stirring them up let's just see where this is going guys how you feel about this person Leo uh, judgment okay so it seems like you've had to make a judgment you've had to make a choice you've had to make a choice you've made the choice I feel like you've made it you've gone off you you're having blind faith that you've made the right choice you're turning over a new leaf okay now on this side we have the three of Pentacles how they feel about you Leo okay so this is an energy of co-creating uh, working together okay working together rather than at cross purposes 
So this compromise here to create this paradise, okay? Because I feel like par you had paradise or what you thought was paradise in the past, uh, but it was paradise lost for whatever reason. So you're trying to recreate paradise with this person. They seem to be wanting to do the same thing with this three of pentacles. Okay. We do have the ace of pentacles. This is a this is just something starting, something beginning. Recreating from the ground up this lost paradise. And what's hidden over here is justice. So this feels like a rebalancing of the scales. If something was out of whack, uh, something was m not aligned here, it feels like things are coming into alignment. Uh, like this is like a destined thing, a destined partnership for you to, to align, to rebuild this paradise for you both. Now, the strength here is the stars. Yes, yeah, so the star card. So I feel that this is this destined partnership. And the strength over here is the emperor. Well, this is, uh, this is mastery. And with this proud energy, this is something to be proud of, of, a, of an accomplishment. Rebuilding, okay. It seems like you're going into something here, Leo, having blind faith and trust uh, that you can overcome this paradise lost, overcome what didn't work in the past and work towards a new beginning. Uh, work, work towards something with this person. Okay. Now, the challenge here is the King of Swords. Now, I do feel that that's somebody who is challenging you, Leo. I'm not sure in what way yet. I've got it as like a friend or mentor or a counsellor. Someone who is... Um, somehow challenging your belief or challenging uh, but I feel that you are if this person is challenging you I feel that you're standing firm and saying no I, I, I'm trusting this 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 person is saying no don't do this or don't do that they seem to be challenging you in some way but you're standing up to them you are saying look no uh, this is what I want. Okay. Now, the challenge for this person is the Knight of Cups. All right. I feel the challenge for this person is is having had having you approach. Hmm. Because it seems like you've been hesitant. You haven't trusted this. But it seems like you're trusting it now. Uh, you're trying to remove that block. Remember, I was talking about this energy of love being blocked. It seems like the block was in the middle here. It could have been something to do with this person who's been around you that, that got in the middle of this, said, no, that's not for you. But you're trusting that it is. This blockage is being removed. OK. Now, in your environment, we've got the Two of Swords. Okay, so yeah. There is still something you're not seeing, though. You've got this, okay, this blind faith, blind trust. But this person is trying to, to show you something. I actually feel like what they're trying to tell you is valid. It's a valid point. I don't feel that this person is... Um, telling lies, fabrications, gossip or anything like that. Now I feel that what they're saying is has some kind of um, there's something that actually you should listen to but I feel like you it's like you're um, blocking this person out saying no but I actually feel that they have something of importance to say. Mm, this is intriguing. In this person's environment we've got the death card Oh gosh. Mm. 
I do feel like there's there's something here with this person where they're in the middle of some kind of major change in their life. Now this change, they're, they're changing, my spirit guide is saying, they're changing. They're changing. Hmm. They, not, they were not who you were, they are not now who they were when you met them. They're changing. Okay. Not sure where this is going yet, guys. Queen of Cups in reverse is your advice here, Leo. Yeah, I feel it has something to do with... Um, needing to pay attention to some red flags. Uh, you're having... Bl I mean, uh, this... You're not really paying attention to the to the red flags. Uh, there's somebody around you that's trying to point them out about this person. They're trying to. They're, I feel like this person has your best interest at heart. They're trying to point out the red flags of this person. You're not paying attention. You're in the here and now, and you just want to focus on the now. That's all. That's all you care about is enjoying the moment with this person okay not being worried about the future now when it comes to their advice we've got the page of pentacles yeah this is this is new i feel that this is a new a new person that you don't know all that well which is why this person's in your ear about this individual uh, they seem to know them, or they know of them. Uh, I feel like they're giving you some kind of warning here. You're not paying attention. Uh, this person's over here feeling quite accomplished, uh, masterful that they've they've got what they wanted, which is you, Leo. You're just going in with blind faith and trust that this is going to work out. Um, which doesn't seem like you, Leo. I mean, um, I feel like this this. This energy here is, is is trying to put the brakes on this, but it, it appears that they're not going to have any kind of effect. Okay, well, let's see. I'm going to pull a card from this deck here. Um, what I will do is I'll take this to the extended. So if this is your story, feel free to join me there. I'll be pulling over uh, the outcome card, going much further in depth. And I'll be clarifying. So if this is your story, uh, feel free to join me there. The link is down below in the description box. It'll be about a 30-minute reading. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Leo, let's, let's get a card from this deck. Oh, flying over there. Uh, let's see. Only now is real. Hmm. 36, yeah. If you reduce that, it's 9, which is a more of an independent energy. You have been independent for a long time. But now you're learning to be, or you're trying to be open to interdependency, uh, where you where you have somebody else. You know, um, it's that old uh, trust exercise. You know that that cliched one where you fall back and the other person catches you. It's that. That's what I'm picking up here. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy store, Gypsy Insights Tarot, and purchase directly there. Yeah, it seems like um, you're trying to stay in the present moment here, Leo. Um, I feel that you're trying to get control over fixating on... I get paradise lost, what was lost in the past there, regretting the past. Uh, you're also trying not to become too anxious about the future. You're trying to tow that, that delicate balance, right, with that justice card. The thing is, if we allow ourselves to fixate on the past, on what once was, 
or what is yet to be, then we never really live in the present moment. We never really live in paradise, and that's paradise lost, right? So this is about standing in the sun and not living in regret. This is about um, focusing on this, uh, this situation that you seem to have chosen here, Leo, and, and enjoying that rather than on something from the past here that was lost. Uh, fix your attention only on this moment, today. Uh, be mindful. Uh, really focus on coming into your own body fully. Uh, feel, feel everything. Taste everything in the moment. Uh, listen. Listen. Um, you know, sometimes we walk around in this, this mind fog of, of thinking of everything else than, than what we're experiencing in the moment. And I feel that right now you're just meant to be experiencing joy in the moment and not being too focused on what happens with this person in the future. It's, uh, it's really raising your, your vibration in the moment is what I'm getting from spirit. Now this person will be proud of you for doing that. I get that. They will be proud of you for being fully there in the moment and, in, and being fully present and feeling, feeling this sense of enjoyment, happiness, playfulness enjoying each other, sense of oneness, you know, really being with someone, uh, not thinking about someone that you had in the past or what could happen here with this person in the future. No, it's fully experiencing joy and happiness with the person that you're with, uh, Leo. That is paradise. That's all that we have, Spirit Guide is saying. So uh, let's talk about this more in the extended reading, Leo. I hope that you join me there. Again, I'll be pulling over the outcome cards, clarifying. It'll be about a 30-minute reading. Again, the link is down below. Please do press that thumbs up button, guys. Super important for my channel. Drop me a comment down below, even if it's just to say hi and let me know that you're out there. And if you have enjoyed this reading and you'd like to subscribe, please do. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care, Leo, and I'll see you in part two.